How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use and program the Radioddity GM-30 handheld GMRS radio. So what we're going to be doing is showing you how to use the NOA weather alert features of this radio, which in the event of an emergency or if you lose power, you'll still be able to get weather alerts, weather reports, and all kinds of just regular old emergency alerts. I'm also going to show you how to program in a custom frequency. So this would be useful if you want to listen in on fire and emergency dispatch, police, sheriff dispatch, those kinds of frequencies. I'm also going to show you how to program that frequency to a custom channel. I'm also going to show you how to enable scanning on that channel. That way, when you're scanning GMRS channels for other people talking, you can also uh, scan for those custom frequencies that we're programming in the radio. It's going to be super helpful for you for communicating around the house during an emergency. So let's get started. All right, everybody, what we're going to do first is we're just going to go over the menu system, the various menu buttons for this radio. Starting in the left hand side here, we have the main menu button. So this is going to be what you select to get into the menu and then how you actually select a menu option and how you set a menu option. And then in the middle here, we have an up and down arrow button. This is what you use to navigate through various menus as well as various menu options. And then over here we have an exit button and that can also be considered kind of like a back button. It lets you go to previous menu screens and get out of the menu altogether. So now what we're going to do is just give a quick example on how to use and how to navigate the menu. What we're going to do is turn off the beeping, which is the uh, basically the keypad beeping, which is every time you push a key, it beeps. And there's also a voice option here we want to turn off so that it's not speaking to you every time you uh, select a menu option or make a change. So what we're going to do is press the menu button once. And it's going to open up the menu. And then we're going to scroll down with the down arrow down to radio settings push menu button again, and we're gonna scroll down until we see the voice option, which I believe is option number nine. Then we're gonna hit menu again. We're gonna use the up arrow, and then we're gonna hit menu again to select off, and you can see here it said save okay and return just here. Now we're gonna scroll down to the beep menu option and do the same thing, click menu, use the up arrow, to off, hit menu to select off. You can see it said save okay, we're good to go. And now we can hit the exit button to exit to that menu option, hit exit again, and you're now back to the main screen. So now what I'm gonna do is show you how to get into the NOAA weather and alert frequency scanning system. This is basically a bank of NOAA frequencies that you can scan or select manually, and it'll give you weather alerts, weather reports, emergency alerts, and all kinds of other information. So what we're going to do to access the weather alert system of this radio is we're going to go in here and you see this zero key here. There's like this little kind of half square uh, shaped uh, icon here. We're going to hold that down and that's going to open up the uh, weather bank system or the weather option on the radio. And then at this point we can hold the scan button down. That's the Z looking symbol here uh, next to the pound symbol. If we hold, press and hold that, It'll start scanning the various um, NOAA frequencies. And then if it picks up a frequency, and it'll just start uh, giving you information out of the radio. It'll stop briefly and then it'll start scanning again. Now we can hold the scan button down to turn it off as far as scanning goes. And then we can use the up down arrow to navigate through the various uh, NOAA frequencies. And you can see here they're pre-programmed in. And so if you know which one you're supposed to be using for your region, you can just leave it on that all the time. And then to get out um, of the uh, NOA weather uh, portion of the radio, you can just hit that zero or that um, symbol next to the zero again and hold that. And it'll just take you back to the main screen for the radio. So now what we're gonna do is go over the P1 button and the P2 button. The P1 button is what is going to let you select between channel mode and frequency mode. Those are the two main operating modes of most of these radios. So if we hit P1, for example, it's gonna to switch to frequency mode. If we press it again, it's gonna switch back to channel mode. And the way you can tell is if you look in the upper right hand corner up here, you will see a 009. And I'll bring this down a little closer so you can see it. And if I go ahead and hit the P1 button, you can see it switched to VFO, right? And so that's how you know if you're in frequency mode is it will say VFO. And if there's a number in that upper right hand corner, then you are in channel mode. 
P2 lets you select between the top frequency bank and the bottom frequency bank. So if you hit P2, you can notice that it switched down below, the blue highlighted line. If you switch it again, it goes back to the top. And so when you're working with the menu option, you're gonna be working for whatever bank that you have selected. And this is a cool feature of this radio is you can actually listen to two frequencies at once, a combination of a frequency and a channel or two channels. So it's really flexible in that kind of area. So what I'm gonna do now is just show you how to program in a channel so that you can communicate with other radios that are programmed to the same channel. Now you obviously wanna make sure that you are in channel mode, right, which we are, because you can see here it says 009. That means we are in channel mode. So let's just say you want to turn this radio to be able to communicate on channel 17. You would just simply type 017, and now you are on GMRS channel 17 or frequency 462.6 megahertz. So as long as all the other radios are on channel 17, you will be able to communicate with each other, provided that you are within communicating range. Now what we're gonna do is show you how to program in a custom frequency. This is gonna be really helpful if you wanna put in, for example, your fire department dispatch, your ambulance dispatch, your sheriff or police department dispatch, or maybe even a custom ham radio frequency. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and select the bottom memory bank down here, or the bottom frequency, and that's gonna be where we're gonna configure this custom frequency. And then we wanna make sure that we are in frequency mode, which we are because it says VFO there. And again, I'm gonna push one just to demonstrate this again, which puts us in channel mode, so there's a number there and then back to frequency mode. I just wanted to double check, make sure that we are in fact in frequency mode, which we are. And then we're gonna go ahead and just use the keypad down here to type in the frequency uh, for whatever frequency that you wanna put in. I'm gonna put in our local EMS dispatch. So that's gonna be 460550. And so at this point, we can start listening right away to EMS dispatch from my area, as well as channel 17 for GRMS. So this radio is listening to both of those at the same time. So now what we want to do is assign this custom frequency to a custom channel. So with GRMS, there are pre-programmed channels 1 through 30, and we don't want to touch any of those channels. So you have available 31 to 100 to put any frequency that you want in. I like to be safe, and I always just start at 40. So what we're going to do is hit Menu. We're going to scroll down with the Menu option, or the navigating arrows here, down to Program Channel. And we're going to scroll down all the way down to channel memory. That's option 15, hit menu. Then we're gonna go all the way down to 40. And we're gonna click menu again, and you can see here it said save okay. Now we can hit the exit button and hit the exit button again. And now we have channel 40 programmed in for that frequency. Now what we can do is switch over to channel mode, right? We're in frequency mode now. If we go to channel mode, type 040, then there we have our frequency that we just programmed in. Now what we want to do is make it so that channel 40 is part of our scanning group of channels. This way when you're scanning GMRS channels, it's also scanning any of the custom channels that you've created that have scanning capabilities enabled. So with that set, we're in channel mode. You can see here 040. We're gonna go ahead and hit menu, and we're gonna scroll down again to program channel, and we're gonna look for the scan option. There it is, scan add. Click menu option on that, select on, hit menu again, save okay, it's already ready to go, hit exit, hit exit, and now channel 40 is scannable. Now what we can do is we can turn on scanning for channel mode, and that'll scan through all the GMRS channels as well as any custom channel that we've enabled scanning on, such as channel 40. So again, looking at this button here, we're gonna hold that scanning button down. And you can see here it's scanning through all the different channels as well as channel 40, which we just programmed in. And then to stop scanning, you just simply hold that Z button down again, the Z looking button. And now it stops scanning. And then you're gonna to wanna to obviously hit zero, four, zero to make sure that that bank is set to 
uh, 040, channel 040, which is the one we just programmed in. All right, folks, well, you learned how to do basic operations with this radio. You can select a GMRS channel and you can communicate with other people who have GRMS radios configured to the same channel. You can select the NOAA emergency weather alerts and you can scan for those. You can program in a custom frequency on a custom channel. You know how to enable scanning for that channel and you know how to scan all your GRMS channels, including your custom channel. And in the next video I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be talking about setting this radio up to use repeaters. It's super easy and using repeaters is gonna extend the distance of this radio greatly. So what you're gonna do for some home is go and research GMRS repeaters in your area. Again, it's got to be GMRS specific re repeaters. You won't be able to use ham radio repeaters on this or any other kind of repeaters. Got to look for those GMRS radio uh, repeaters. There should be one in your area. There's usually one in uh, most regions and most areas that you can use, and that'll greatly enhance the range of capabilities of this radio. Um, and then in another video after that, I'm going to be talking about how to set up privacy codes just to make your communications a little bit more efficient. So thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video.